What's up everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel where I help young professionals master their money so they can build their best life. I'm super stoked about this week's video where I'm going to show you the three travel hacks that I use to fly business class for economy prices. If you're interested on how to save big on business class flights, this video is perfect for you. Let's get started. I'll be pretty honest, I never traveled business class for the first 28 years of my life because I could never afford it. But in my previous career, I was traveling around the world selling sponsorship for Manchester United and the company paid for business class on long haul flights. I got a little taste of the high life and I won't lie, it was pretty awesome. So when I left that job and the company was no longer picking up the tab, I started to research ways that I could continue to have a first class experience without the giant price tag. So without any more delays, let's dive into the three hacks I use to get smoking good deals on business class flights. Hack number one is to leverage travel rewards credit cards. This is a classic and probably the most obvious way to enjoy business class flights on the cheap. Each country is going to have different rewards cards options, so you need to do your homework. But essentially, you get rewards points in exchange for spending money on your credit card. In the UK, this is my British Airways Amex card. This is a free option, but you can pay an annual fee for the Platinum card, which opens up even more travel rewards. So I get one Avios point for every pound that I spend on the card and can redeem those Avios points for flights all around the world. The main bonus is that if I spend 20,000 on that card in an entire year or 10,000 on the Platinum card, I qualify for their companion and voucher, which entitles me for a two for one travel on any British Airways flight. Let me show you exactly how the reward scheme plays out. I found this nonstop flight yesterday from London to San Francisco, business class return for just over 1600 pounds, a good deal to begin with. Therefore, if I qualified for the companion voucher, I would be able to get my partner to join me in that same cabin class for free. Therefore, the travel cost for two travelers on business class would be 1,600 pounds or 800 pounds each if we split it. Now, huge caveat here, you can't redeem your voucher on any flight. Some are restricted, so you need to keep that in mind. But this is just one example of one credit card which unlocks huge travel rewards. The North American credit cards are even better for getting travel rewards because there's so much competition between companies. Basha and I do as much of our monthly spending on our Amex as possible to max out the rewards that we earn. We use our Amex for things like groceries, dinners out, fun and entertainment, travel and subscriptions instead of buying these month to month items using your debit card or cash which don't give you any rewards at all. Now, it's extremely important that you pay off your credit card every single month. If you start spending a lot on your card to earn the rewards, but then are unable to pay it off at the end of the month, you're gonna start to incur loads of interest and late fees that you'll be paying, and these charges will offset any rewards from the travel program. Make sure you pay off the full balance of your credit card every single month. Hack number two is to change your departure airport. This may be more applicable to Europeans, but I would suggest trying this tactic anywhere, no matter where you live. London is a great hub with lots of flight routes and our most logical starting point when we travel, but the taxes and airport fees are often high, which can affect the cost of your flight. Instead of searching for flights only from your local airport, check out regional hubs within a reasonable distance to where you live. Let's take a look at a real life example. I checked out flights from London to Buenos Aires, Argentina for December on Skyscanner, a flight aggregation website. When I checked flights from London, the price was 2,647 each for a business class return flight on British Airways. Pretty punchy. But let's look at what happens when I search Madrid to Buenos Aires on the same dates instead of London. The price drops significantly by more than 50% to just over 1,100 for business class return. That's a savings of over 3,000 pounds as a couple. Now, you will need to purchase a return flight from London to Madrid, and this can add a few hours to your journey. However, flights between London and Madrid are quite inexpensive, and I found a few for just 50 pounds. 
I totally appreciate that there's more travel time on this route and quite a few changes which may impact your decision. But think of this from a different perspective. Since you are flying in business class, you get access to comfortable lounges all over the world in each airport you visit. Travel will start to seem less like a chore and much more relaxing the entire way. Just kick back, have a drink, read a book, and order off the lounge menu as you wish. Hack number three is to sign up for flight alert websites, my favorite being Jack's Flight Club. They were originally a UK company only, but recently launched in the USA. What this website does is monitor flight prices day and night for price drops, error fares, and other discounted options, and then serve them to you. I get a regular newsletter update from Jack's Flight Club offering me anywhere from 50 to 70% off flights to a variety of exotic locations around the world. I was recently sent one offer, which was a business class flight from Manchester to Thailand for 600 pounds, which is just insane. Jack's Flight Club operates a freemium model and a small subscription model as well for 75 cents a week to get more exclusive deals. Both are great options to bag super cheap flights, especially in business class. Most flights on Jack's Flight Club can save you anywhere from 300 pounds to 400 pounds and sometimes much, much more. So even if you only book one flight over a decade, you will cover the cost of that subscription. The one drawback is that these deals are usually for a very specific period, which means that you need to have a lot of flexibility in your schedule to snag these great deals. Once me and my partner achieve full financial independence, we'll be able to use these deals much more often at the drop of a hat. I hope you found these tips useful to score some amazing deals on business class flights. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. I'm dropping videos every Wednesday, teaching you how to harness the power of money to improve every area of your life and you don't wanna miss a thing. Happy travels and I will catch you in the next video.